I'm Kevin Pang. I'm Jeffrey Pang. And today, my dad and I are going to try to make fried rice without getting into a screaming match. One of the first things my old man ever taught me to make was fried rice. And I'm telling you, cooking it at home is a thousand times better than anything you can get at takeout. Of course. Yep. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to prep the mushrooms. Now, this is not just any mushroom. These are Chinese dried shiitake mushrooms, right? Yes, that's right. So tell me about these. We call it Donggu in Cantonese mm -hmm. and Xianggu in Mandarin. Um, the dry one is more flavorous than the fresh one. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can buy it online or in the most of the Chinese supermarket. Yeah, that's perfect. And you don't want to use button mushrooms here because these are just way more flavorful yes, fried rice. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And this, is, this keeps in your pantry practically forever. So in order to hydrate these, we want to pour boiling water onto these mushrooms here. Now, how long will this take for it to uh, get fully hydrated? Um, it depends on how thick of your mushroom, but normally take at least 15 minutes. Now that we have these hydrated mushrooms, we still have this really thick stem here. And so we want to cut the stems off. Oh yeah, because it's too hard. It's too thick and too hard. So yeah. uh, he's going to cut these off with scissors. Yeah. It's so much easier to cut this with a pair of scissors rather than with a knife, because I'm telling you, accidents happen. Now that the stems are cut off, we can go ahead and slice these into quarter inch slices. It's nice to have these in strips because you can still get the texture rather than having it diced up. Mm -hmm. Now that the mushrooms are all prepped, we're going to be making the flavoring for the fried rice. Now, sogginess is the enemy of all fried rice. And in most fried rices that you make at home, you don't even use a lot of liquid, right? Yes, you know, many of the fried rice that we don't even use the uh, soy sauce. We only use the sauce for flavoring. And so what we found though, is that a little bit of soy sauce and oyster sauce is really, really excellent flavor for this fried rice. If you go to Chinatown, you're gonna see light soy sauce and dark soy sauce. Here, you wanna use light soy sauce, light right? Light soy sauce. Light soy sauce should not be mistaken for reduced sodium soy sauce here. Now that we got our mushroom and sauce prep, we're going to focus on the eggs. Every great fried rice must have eggs in it. And we've got two eggs here. Something my dad always taught me is that you, you don't want it too scrambled, right? Yes. You really don't want it kind of a homogenous yellow. You want a little bit of the white, a little bit of the yolk, and uh, it makes the fried rice look prettier, right? Yes. OK, show me what you're going to do. OK. So you're just going to beat the eggs, but, but not too well, right? Yeah, just like this. Yeah. And that's it. Is. You want to have soft, fluffy eggs, and you do that by cooking it before you add that to the rice. Yeah, that's right. All right, so now let's add some oil into your wok here. We've got a wok over medium heat, and show me what we need to do. So we're going to add a little bit of oil. Great. All right. And make sure the oil is will cover every area. My dad's got this neat little trick of testing when the wok is hot enough. So show me this. I, I love yeah. this trick here. Yeah, just a uh, few drop. If you see it starting to the bubble popcorn. and fluff up, then you know that it's, it's hot enough. Yes, that's right. I love that trick. <laughs> now you really want to let this fluff up and bubble for, what, about 15, 20 seconds or so? Yes, yeah, about that. All right, is it ready to break it up? Yeah, now it's the time to break it up. And you really don't want to overcook this. You want it still to be bubbly and fluffy yes. because we're going to cook this again when we add it to the rice. That's right. OK. That looks good? Yeah, looks good. OK. Like this. Why don't I add it for you? Oh, OK, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. <laughs> the eggs are nice and fluffy, and now we're gonna bring in the shrimp. We're using small D vein shrimp here, not like the type of shrimp you use for prawn cocktails, right? Yeah. This is the perfect size for it, it's right? Perfect size. Okay. And we don't want to overcook this, maybe about 30 seconds or so, because why? 
Yes, because uh, if overcook it, that will be tough and chewy. Exactly. So we're only going to cook this lightly until it's opaque. The wok is still hot from the eggs. We're going to add a little bit of oil back into it. Some more there, not too much. Okay. And can I do the honors of putting the shrimp in there? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm winning over my dad. This is a victory for me. Okay, here we go. It's starting to get a little bit of color already. And again, the mm -hmm. important thing here is don't overcook it. Yes. Is it ready? About eight more seconds. Eight more seconds? OK. I'll count silently in my head. We'll add this back into where the eggs are. Good. Shrimp is done. Egg is done. Now we're going to put everything together. All right, all our ingredients are prepped. Now it's time to put together the fried rice. And we have to talk about the star of the show, which is the rice. You always told me, don't use fresh rice. Why is that? Because it's too wet. So that would be make the fried rice too soggy. Right, so we okay. want to use leftover cold rice. That's right. Okay. That would be perfect. Can you use something like uh, a short grain, like sticky rice for this? No, I think we use a uh, long grain. Like jasmine rice? Jasmine rice. Perfect. So this is perfect. It's nice and cold. It's crumbly. This is going to be perfect to use for our fried rice. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the other ingredients as well. We've got our protein here, and this is char siu. Yeah, this is char siu. It's Chinese more specifically, Cantonese barbecue pork. It's sweet, it's fatty. You can go to your Chinatown takeout and you can get char siu like it's rotisserie chicken from a supermarket. Yes. Right? Of course, you can use smoked ham as well. But another thing that us Chinese love to use is Chinese sweet sausage. Yes, this is a Cantonese Chinese sausage. Okay. Cantonese style. What's it called in Chinese? Uh, lap chang. Lap chang. But in the Mandarin, it's called xiang chang. Okay. It's almost like a Spanish chorizo in texture, uh, a little bit richer and oilier, uh, but you like to use tasu. Yes. So with the tasu, what we're going to do is we're going to dice this into uh, half inch cubes. Excellent. Great. I'm learning well. Oh, okay. Right. All right. So we're going to add this to the... But you don't want to learn before, when I, we were young. You're telling me I used to complain when I was a kid? Oh, you complain a lot, you know. Why every day steam rice? Why every day congee? <laughs> That's what you told me. You, 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 you complain. So you're saying I'm finally learning after 30 years? Yes. <laughs> All right. It's time to put our fried rice together. Finally, we've got our wok, this time on high heat, and we're gonna add a little bit more oil. And you want this to be scorching hot, right? Yes. Okay, right. so the first thing we're gonna put in there is what, the mushrooms? The mushroom first. Okay, why don't you grab the spatula here? Okay, here we go. This is nice and hot and sizzling, and we're gonna add the char siu next, okay? Oh, yes. Can you smell it? I can smell it. It smells like um, it smells like when I was ten years old. <laughs> Peas going next. Ooh. And finally, we've got minced garlic here. We're just gonna heat this through. We don't want to burn about thirty seconds or so. Yeah. You're right in the middle. Yeah. We just right. Put it in the middle. Great. All right. Now it's time to add the rice in. This is something that. My old man taught me, <laughs> rather than dump the whole thing in at once, we're going to sprinkle it in. But you need to wash your hands first. I did wash my hands already. OK. OK. Hygiene is very important here. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're going to take this fried rice, and we're just going to sprinkle it on top? Yes, please. OK, like that. More. Quicker? Yeah, quicker. All right. The reason why we're doing this is you really want the rice to be nice and granular. You want to break up the clumps, right? Yeah, that's right. OK. okay. You don't see any clump over there. No clumps. I got a big clump right here. You just okay. want to squeeze it and okay. pretend it is Christmas Day and oh. outside it's snowing, except instead of snow, it's fried rice. And you're breaking up the clumps with your spatula, right? Yes. So yeah. it's been about three minutes or so. Now we can add our sauce into it, yeah. right? Just try all it. around? Yeah, all around. Yeah, like this. Yeah. 
You can really smell it coming out now. And then we've got the eggs and the shrimp from earlier. And should I just put, throw that in there? Yes, please. Great. Ooh, it is. Look how colorful that is. Yes, you can see the rainbow over there. <laughs> A rainbow of fried rice colors. <laughs> So much of Chinese cooking is about making it aesthetically pleasing. So uh, we've got these green onions, scallions cut on a bias. It looks prettier, right? It looks pretty. Okay, great. Mm. Yes. All right, this is looking really good. Is this ready? No, do it. Do what? Stir. You're letting me yes. stir the fried rice? Yes. This is like passing of a torch moment for me. Okay. <laughs> Can I do the toss like do that? It, do it. Really? Try. All right. I don't want to screw this up. Oh, very good. Yeah? Very good. How's that looking? So this looks done, right? Yeah, it's done. That's it? Yeah, it's easy. It's incredibly easy. It's easy. <laughs> Fried rice, how does this look? Looks beautiful. Yeah, you made it. Well, I, I helped a little bit too, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you try this right here. Why don't I get this for you first? You tell me. Wow, you're a good son. Appreciate that. This is really good because I like, you can see that the eggs are nice and fluffy. The tar siu is really good. It's it's nice and, uh, you know, fatty and flavorful. And the oyster sauce, because you were very skeptical about oyster <laughs> sauce, right? To be honest with you, you know, this is my first time to use the oyster sauce to make the fried rice. Before, when people telling me, you know, use the oyster sauce, I was very surprised. What, oyster sauce? Because oyster sauce is my favorite. I use that for Noodles, veggie, mm -hmm. you know, but not for fried rice. But what do you think? Because we did add oyster sauce. So that's why I changed my mind. You know, this is very good. You know, I never had it before. Yeah. So it's I good. love it. I love it. Maybe mm -hmm. in the future, I, I will use that oyster sauce to make the fried rice. Of course, this recipe also calls for bean sprouts. I like bean sprouts. You're not a fan of bean sprouts. So I think tiebreaker goes to my dad. Of course, for fried rice, you can add anything you want. You can add different meats, you can add bacon if you want to, all sorts of vegetables, asparagus, and give me anything you want. So it doesn't matter what kind of ingredients you use, whatever you open your fridge, you can see anything left over, you can use it for fried rice. So how do you like your fried rice? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want this recipe and more, go to americastestkitchen.com. Please like this video and subscribe.